Patty. 75 years ago, my grandparents were on a uh, summer vacation visiting relatives in various parts of Texas. They'd gone from Dallas to Llano to Sonora. They're on their way back to San Antonio and they stopped here in Junction at this fancy hotel or fancy hotel at the time. And while they were here, around the other side of the world, South China Sea on the deck of the USS Missouri, representatives of the United States and Japan were signing that final treaty that ended World War II. It was a day of great celebration. Cities around the world broke out to celebrate peace. No different here in uh, Junction. Businesses closed their doors. People were dancing in the streets. But for my mother, being only 12 years old, well, the restaurants were closed and she was hungry. Now, don't worry about my grandparents or my mom. They were just fine. But we live in a world where there's always some major loud voice that captures the attention. That largest and loudest voice that seems to dominate everything else that's going on. But in the midst of that loud voice, that large voice, there's those small voices. Those voices of need. Those voices of hope. In times of great celebration, there's someone that is suffering. In times of great tragedy, there's someone that has a joy they want to share. Our call as disciples is to listen for the needs of all people. Yes, we should celebrate those great joys and we should observe those great tragedies. But we should also be sensitive to the exceptions, those small voices that are out there. To show the compassion of Christ to everyone. So as you go about your day, be sensitive to that. Listen to the people around you. See what their needs are. Be the presence of God where they are regardless of all the voices that are around you. They're not to be dismissed. Thanks for listening. Adios.